Well, we're here today uh, with um, Dr. Kamoff, a dentist in uh, Queens, in Queens Elmhurst, I think that is Dr. Kamoff, right? Yes, it is. Dr. Kamoff, tell me, you know, as patients, um, when we go to a dentist, to any doctor for that much, on one hand, we feel like a dentist is a dentist is a dentist, simply because you guys have a diploma, the government licenses you, and, um, you know, it's pretty safe that all of you more or less learned the same in those very few uh, universities around which teach that. At the same token, we dentists also realize that there has to be a personal match, that, that not every dentist is the same, especially from personality and from, you know, what they do, only because a person learns in theory, just about everything doesn't mean he then practices it all that way. So tell us a little bit, what is your practice all about? If I have children, can I bring them to you? If I have a mom or am a, 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 let's just say a, a, me being as old as I am, if I have a grandma, like a, you know, an elder person, if I am an elder person, can I come to you with dentures? Um, can, you know, would, um, would you uh, go and uh, and do the braces on, 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 on my kids? If I want a nice Hollywood smile, uh, would I be at the right place at the same token? If I just want to fix a couple fillings, and even though I'm supposed to do more, but I, I'm, I'm money uh, conscious because I simply don't have enough because the economy has hit me, um, but can I get fixed what needs to be fixed to be functional? Tell me a little bit about that in your practice. What can a patient expect? And if you don't mind, while you're at it, what made you become a dentist, uh, Dr. Kamoff? All right. Uh, well, first of all, my practice is, is it's a family practice. So I see kids starting two, from two years old, and I see grandmas and grandpas up to whatever age. As long as you come to my office, I can take care of you. Every single patient I treat is my family. Meaning that I would never, it doesn't matter in what income situation you are, what kind of insurance you have. I treat everyone as my family member, the way I'm going to treat my mom, my father, my grandmother, my kids. Meaning that um, if you need my attention, no matter uh, how busy, how um, uh, It is in my power to help you. I do help you. Now, uh, the reason I became a dentist was that I actually, I came to this country was when I was 16 years old. And I have had to the, receive the letter from school that I have to bring uh, a letter from a dentist that I had a good checkup. So I went to a dentist and unfortunately, I did not get a proper treatment and when I did not get a proper treatment in school, I told myself, you know what, that was the time when I had to choose my profession. I said, I want to know what did this doctor do to me? How can I fix it? And how can I prevent this from happening to other people? So that was the main reason I want to become a dentist. Wow. So I went to... That's an interesting story. Um, you know, so basically you were slightly or, or a lot mistreated it wasn't done the right way and uh, so right. and you and you kind of realized that that affects a person very very much and uh, it affected me badly in a way that i felt how can a doctor um mistreated seriously a teenager uh, in a way that i you know i i it was unacceptable so i said i would never ever want this to happen to other people, whatever is possible in my power. So that's, that was the main reason I decided to become a dentist. And I keep educating myself. I keep taking different courses to get a better education uh, since I graduate from school. So I can keep up with the economy. I can keep up with the, all the new stuff, all the, uh, you know, new um, things that come out right. in the market. Because, and, because uh, dent dentistry is, um, you know, I have noticed, uh, and thanks God it is, it is really uh, advancing also. It, it isn't a lot. It, 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 it's not just computers which advance. Uh, it, it's the dentistry which advances 
but maybe because of computers and all that other stuff like flying to the moon and you come up with great materials but there is a huge difference between doing a root canal today or 25 years ago uh, and there's a huge Absolutely. huge difference on how to straighten out teeth in with braces and or do uh, out or how to uh, replace a tooth I mean George Washington had a, a wooden tooth apparently I, I don't know in fact uh, maybe you uh, in dental school learned more about that but I have heard he had a wooden tooth that must have been awful inconvenient <laughs> it's awful awful and yeah we learned about the first wooden dangers but it was only f you know for people for show but not practical so nowadays we learn how to replace missing teeth replace in different ways dentures implants bridges crowns there are different ways so staying updated is obviously important, but probably, you know, lots of doctors do that. But in any case, it's not that necessarily one dentist is a lot worse than another one, but a person should be realized, um, you know, you should be matching the personality a little bit the way uh, a, a young couple dating does and then decides that, you know, we might not be agreeing on everything, but uh, I think our overall personality matches us together and, 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 and we can get married and then hopefully uh, as many people do stay married their whole life wonderfully. And that little bit of dentist is, is a little bit like that. You've got to be, feel comfortable, uh, go there with you, with your children, uh, bring your grandma or, or whichever way it goes and know that... If I want a gorgeous Julia Robertson smile, I can get it. At the same time, if I just want to fix my little brown chipped tooth here um, or get rid of my toothache, uh, I can do that too. And you're not putting the pa patient down because you say, look, you need this, this, this. But he says, I don't have money now. What you're saying is you will work with him. You will work what needs to be fixed so he doesn't get any more sick. And then hopefully make a plan that one of these days um, – he might be able to fix it all. Absolutely. I work with different kinds. We create treatment plans that works for you. I work with you. Uh, if needed, uh, we make different kinds of, treat, uh, of payment plans. So it's very convenient for you. It's, it doesn't kill you. you cannot, it's very affordable. And um, I do not, my prices are not sky high. It's very affordable, down to earth, nothing um, un unpayable. Basically. Beautiful. Dr. Kamov, very good news. Thank you very much.